Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new deck music video. Hope you're having a good day today so far. Today we're doing something a little different. We're not gonna be reviewing anything that's new. We're not gonna be reviewing really anything that's old either. Uh, but you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail. Today we're actually gonna be taking a look at one of my favorite producers of all time. And his name is Ba. Ba is one of, if not my most favorite producer of all time. Why? His stuff has really just taken my appreciation for dubstep to a next level. Um, and in the title, I'm calling him uh, the high frequency genius. And something that I'll talk about in this video is just the the absolute, the, the, the stuff that he's doing <laughs> is frankly so absurd, unique, and crazy. I don't think there's anyone else doing what he does in the scene right now. Like his style and sound is so unbelievably unique and that's what stood out to me so much. Uh, I found Ba, I believe I found him on a YouTube channel uh, where he posts, they, like they reposted Lost Again, one of his songs. Uh, and Lost Again has this um, cinematic vibe and it uses an orchestra for the first 30 seconds and then it goes into an absolutely insane drop and I love it. Yeah, that's how I found Ball. And ever since, I've been wanting his music on Apple Music. Like, because I use Apple Music. Uh, I even checked on Spotify and I could not find him for the life of me. Either I was stupid and just literally couldn't find him or he just didn't have anything there. Uh, and I actually, I was at a summer camp this, this summer, uh, the latter two weeks of July. And I ended up finding his stuff. I, I have no idea how I got there. But I'm like, let's just go check and see if Ba is on Apple Music. I, I looked Ba in all caps and boom, there he was. I'm, I freaked out. Lost Again was there. And I, I've wanted this song in my library for so long because I'm like, it's nowhere to be found. It's only on SoundCloud, which I don't use anymore. And YouTube. And I'm just like, where, where is it? Right? So I ended up finding him finally. I was so happy and it really kickstarted my love for Ba again. So today we're gonna just go through his little backstory that we know of so far. We're gonna go through a couple songs that he's released and just kind of, I'm just gonna enjoy it. And you you all get to hear the best of Ba, in my opinion. And if you've never heard of Ba, you're gonna lose your mind when you hear some of these songs. And I think, and I hope, because this guy is literally the definition of underrated. He's been producing for three years. He's from Chile and supposedly his name is Adrian because his email is adrian at uh, ind.me. So supposedly his name is Adrian. That's what I would pick up. And I say he's underrated because no one freaking knows about this guy. He has 7.4 thousand followers on SoundCloud, 2.6K on Instagram and literally 700 on Twitter. Like no one knows about this guy. And the reason for this is a lot of his releases are self-releases. He's released Magic Game uh, on a compilation and he's released Agna on the OA Interstellar Travel compilation, which I really like. Um, but a lot of his releases are self-releases and therefore no one really gets to know him because self-releases sometimes don't go anywhere. Of course, I'm not a producer. I, I don't know anything in the dubstep. Or, well, I, I know some things, but I don't know what it's like to release music. So I have no idea what this is. But if he were to get on main label record labels, then this guy would blow up, I think, um, in, in the dubstep scene. So let's just go through some of his music because he might be getting on a main label here in a bit from one of the collabs that we know that he's done. And I'm really excited for it. So. Let's just go through four of his release songs. The first one being Lost Again. I love this song because it takes a orchestral piece that has been written and released and it completely transitions it into a brand new experience. When I first heard this song, I was blown away. And that's that was when I really found Ball and I'm like, this guy is crazy. And when I say he's a high frequency genius, I mean, the high, uh, the higher frequencies, as in treble and things like that, he's able to manipulate those in, in such a way that no one else is doing. And you'll hear partly in this song, but a lot of his other songs as well. I gotta turn this up. Such a 
chunky bass. Oh, dude, this part. I love it. I love it so much. So that's Lost Again for You by Ba, the first song that I found by him. And honestly, it took me so far off my feet. I, I loved it so much. Man, I'm already out of breath. I've started to go and listen to his other things um, when I found him on Apple Music this July. Or like re-found him, you know? One of the first ones I listened to is Agna. Agna has this different feeling. So the comp that was released on is Interstellar Travel. And it really does feel like I'm in space. I love this intro. Again, high frequency genius. He's doing these things in the higher frequencies. Like it's split right now, but it sounds so good and they're meshing together. It's... I don't know how he does it. I have no idea how he does it. Pitch bends. Like, what? Do you see? Uh, there's so much high end in this, but it meshes so well together that it, it sounds coherent. And it, it's not killing my ears either. There's some people that just like to do high end stuff, and I'm like, ow. This, it's not hurting my ears at a really high level. Um, just the way that he is doing it is fantastic. That's another great song, in my opinion. It's a one drop song. That, that was it. Just such a beautiful song, and I love it. There's, this guy is able to do so many different styles, and really just he has such a unique um, sound design that really is not heard anywhere, and to my knowledge. And if there is, let me know, because I'd love to go check him out, because I need more of this stuff. Um, he recently dropped a brand new single called Pardon Moy. This song has been on repeat for me for ever since it came out pretty much like i would I, I always go back to it i actually just had a recording session where i listened to this song for pretty much 45 minutes while playing bed wars so much fun again really just a great subtle rich bass distorted bass too and now you have two different elements of high-end stuff and I know other people do this too, but the way he executes it is different. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -ba. Two things going on now. I don't know how he does it, but it's so good. <laughs> so that's Pardon Moy for you. Um, one of my favorite ball songs, if not my favorite, just from the how many plays he's done, or how many plays that I have given that song. Just I've had it on repeat so much because it's just such a great song. Highly recommend you go check these out, by the way. If these are intriguing to you, I'll leave all of his links below so you can go check them out. But this guy doesn't do just dubstep. He does other things. <laughs> He is a multi-genre uh, multi producer, I guess is what they would call it. So there's a song that he made called You Made Me Fly and I Accidentally Cut the Wings You Gave Me. Hinting to Icarus. Let's check this out. What? What? When I first heard this, I died. Literally, I died. And I've shown this to people. I showed this to people at the camp that I was at when I refound his music. I showed this to other people. They're like, is this Minecraft music? I'm like, no. But it should be. There's this. This is content worthy. This song is 100% content worthy. Just that. That's how I see a lot of songs because I'm a content creator at heart. And hearing this, and hearing the chorus that you'll hear in a minute. And in fact, I actually did use it. So I'll leave that playing somewhere on here. but he's still able to put in that ball kind of feel. I 
I have no words for this. This is just freaking beautiful. If you like other things of dubstep and stuff like this, I mean, this took me off my feet. It really did. I'm like, oh my gosh. He's made another song like this called Stars That No Longer Shine. It's definitely not as chill and cinematic as this one. This one's my favorite, but he has done that. He's made a tear out song called Happy. So he's a multi-genre artist. Happy is tear out. I think he's done a few other tear out things. He, he's done a lot of solo SoundCloud tracks. Um, such as VIP, uh, Color Pill, Let Me Breathe, and Human Factory. Let Me Breathe is another solid one that is very similar to Pardon Moy and Lost Again. And then I already mentioned Magic Game as well. Magic Game, I believe, is his number one song on Apple Music. I don't know about the other platforms. But this guy is multi-talented, and he knows what he's doing. And it's unbelievable. And this is, this is literally why he's my favorite. It's just crazy. <laughs> So those are a few of the songs that I like from him that are uh, released. But what about unreleased? Well, we can go to his Instagram and find an eight track ID preview on his Instagram of new tracks that he's working on. And one of the collabs on here, you're not going to believe. So let's start off. And there's some some of these IDs we don't know uh, what the name is uh, or like the full name. We can kind of see a little bit of it. And some things he likes to put in different languages. Um, I don't know what language it would be exactly, but it's definitely not English. So I'm not going to try, but we do know a few of them. So I'll just show you a few of my favorites. Uh, and this is literally an Instagram post. I will link it down in the description. We'll start off the first one called Hands V2. I have never once replayed IDs so much from Instagram before until this. I heard this at camp. The syncopation in this, and that's apparently what it's called, but it feels like it's stuttering. It feels like it's halting. And this is what I'm talking about with a high frequency genius, dude. Like, there's no one else doing this. Check this out. That's all we get. That's all we get. <laughs> That's all we get. These are just IDs, and the amount of times I've had them on replay is so unfreaking believable. Here's another one that we can kind of see the name, but not fully. so high-pitched and so trebly. That's why it's so good. But he's able to make it in such a way that it doesn't hurt the ear, and it sounds so freaking unique. What is that? Oh my gosh. Uh, the fact that I've had these like 50 second clips of these songs on repeat is gonna make the actual release of them, if they do get released, j <laughs> Yeah, I want to be just listening to these so much. Here's one called Oompaumpa. Multi-genre. I did not think I would like that. And it... No, I have no idea. I just have no words. I have no words. I really don't. Here's another one. We don't know the full name of it. one of my favorites oh my the, the, the constant halting sometimes it's gonna like it goes the full way like this and then it's like i don't know what's happening here's another one of my favorites called 9199 oh brace yourself What? What? 
I just don't understand. I just don't understand. This is the last one I'll show you. And it is my favorite uh, out of all the IDs. And it's a ball collab with the one and only Hugh K. We don't know the name of it. But if this gets released, please, if, if it's on a main label, a main record label, please, this will blow up. There, there's Hugh K and Ba in it. You hear them both. What? I'm just so confused as to why no one knows about this guy. No one knows about this guy. So if you're watching this and if you enjoyed any of that, all of his socials are going to be in the description. I love Ba. He's underrated. This is the definition of underrated. Please go check out his stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just utterly bewildered at how he's doing all this and i freaking love it i freaking love it please if you're watching this by the way i love you <laughs> and please release the some of the ids that you have on there because the mm, 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 mm. that'd be so cool if you made like an ep or something oh my gosh anyways go check out ball i've been deck subscribe if you like this video and i'll be back on friday or saturday with a reaction on Kenoto's new Semantic Veil EP. I'll catch you later. <laughs>